Alright, so this video is going to be about the Jasper Circle Jig, right here. Now, on their website it says that you need to have a plunger router, and that it only works with certain types of routers, but I'm going to show you how you can get around this and how it will work for you. I have a Porter Cable router. It's not a plunger router, but it is an adjustable router. All the connections are going to be the same. The box comes with a bunch of screws. Typically, I just like to use my own screws that are already in here. I know they work. So I'm going to take this apart right now, and then I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, so to make it easier on me, because it's kind of confusing how it goes on sometimes, I put an arrow right here, and on top of that, I also blacked out the holes that I'm going to be using. So I know the big end is going to go roughly where that arrow is at. I was a little off when I put it in, but it works. <clears throat> so now you just want to line it up now. The confusing part for some people is the fact that all the print is going to be on the bottom. You're not going to see anything on the top. That is, that's how it's supposed to be because what you're going to do is you're going to set it up before you put anything on there. Now before you make this nice and tight, it comes with a alignment tool. There's a center piece right here. Push it down in there and you'll want to tighten it up. Make sure it's nice and centered. Then, once that's done, you can tighten these down. I like going over them multiple times. Just because it was tight the first time, once you get the rest of them tight, doesn't mean it's going to be tight. Alright, so that's how you set up your Jasper jig. Now on the bottom here, I'm sure a lot of you guys know, it's, it goes from 2 inches all the way up to 18 and a quarter inches. Now, this pin goes down in the bottom and goes inside whatever you're routering so it doesn't get in your way. You can completely do the circles. And then all you do is work your way up, 1 16th, 1 8th, 3 16th, a quarter. Just match them up, put the pin in, and go with it. Alright, so I've laid out a sample piece here just to show you exactly how it is. And I'm doing a little test piece for when I... Uh, build a speaker box, which you can click on one of the links right around here to see that build. So I got my cross sections all drawn out. What you want to do is take an eighth inch drill bit and you're just going to put a dead center drill it down in there. Now I've found that it makes it a little bit hard to get out so I kind of open the hole just just a hair. Nothing crazy. Now that that's done I'm going to grab my Jasper jig. Now for this piece, all I want to do is go down approximately one eighth of an inch. So some people like to start with the router all the way down. I like to start it and then put the router down to where I need it. So now that's completely done, we can blow it out. See our perfect circle, one eighth of an inch down. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set it up with a cut bit using the same hole. And I'm going to cut out the center section. Okay, so I have the router all set up. And what I'm cutting this hole for is the precision port, 4-inch flared port. Now that I'm ready to cut through, I got this thing all set up. 
one way to tell if your level is just to grab a little something you know straight, something flat. Now, I ran out of space because I had my bit out too high, but you could tell when it's level. It's a bit obvious. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this out and see how it all fits. Now what you, you want to make sure that you do is make a couple of passes. You don't want to go crazy on the first one. You just want to take a little bit out and then take a little bit more and a little bit more. Now when you're coming to your end of your kite, you want to make sure that you're at least pushing back in. If you're pushing out when that breaks free, because it's still going to be stuck to the bottom of this, you're going to mess up your circle. Alright, so now it's time to see how this thing actually cut. As you can see, it's perfect. Minor, minor little touch-up sanding required, and it's just... From user air, nothing crazy, it's just what I had laying around. But here's the port. This is the true test. Look at how perfect that is. You can't even see where there's a mark on the outside. It's nice and flush. It's perfect. And that's how you use the Jasper jig to make circles. On a router that does not plunge. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. This Jasper jig was worth every penny I spent on it. It was only $34 from PartsExpress.com. If you like this video, click the like button and leave a comment down below to let me know how I'm doing. Also, subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming projects. Thanks for watching.